Hi everybody, my name is Rhys Barber, I'm one of the audiologists here at Audiology Associates. And my name is Taylor Green and I am the other audiologist here. I can't even speak, audiologist here. <laughs> um, so this is my patient to start with here, so you can see straight away we've got uh, very, very textbook cotton bud uh, use here. Very dented, dark, dry, solid wax that we've got here. Um, I was kind of half expecting a really big battle here because yeah. these can sometimes take quite a while to remove but you can see straight Look away we've got really lucky here I've managed to get a suction grip on that flat surface and it's, and it's actually like brought away this whole thing straight away uh, got it stuck though <laughs> so we've uh, we've introduced the the trusty Jobson horn here just to try and gently tease this forwards as we're pulling back, just to yeah. try and roll this uh, roll this out of the ear. It's just to hit that, because it's got that sort of angular front end, it's really hit that, that edge of the ear canal entrance, and yeah. it just won't get past it. Bit of a tricky angle as well to hit this one. It, uh, I, I was actually struggling to get a, an angle with the, with the jobs yeah. on here. Uh, so this is starting to come out here. You see how dark this is, it's been there for a long time. Uh, I actually remember this patient saying they've been having issues with the ears for, for quite a while, and. Mm. Uh, uh, oh. Only recently, one one use of the cotton bud and boom, you yeah. know, hearing it just completely just dropped. A lot of dead skin, doesn't it? When you look at the yeah. eardrum beyond, that, that is looking really dull, isn't it? There's no, there isn't that good sheen there at all. No. Uh, they've done the same one. Well, well, I don't know, not actually. A, yeah, yeah, not as bad. You can see the eardrum yeah. just in the background. So um, <laughs> the patient actually said once that happened with the one side, and they just said, oh, no, I'm not doing that with the other side. I don't blame them as well. So do you think that plug was initially like this one is much much further out and with the cotton bud going in that's where they pushed it right down is it yeah, yeah. so it's uh wax very typically yeah will will only get produced near the entrance of the ear so we would never expect to see wax that far into no. the ear so we do get a lot of patients actually which uh which say they've never used anything inside <laughs> the ear but yes. uh, we, we we know we know you have we know we, you we know, do we it guys you we can tell you've done it is it no good um it's a test of honesty yeah <laughs> <laughs> sit there with a really <laughs> so they say are you sure um but yeah it's, it's we know where people have done it just because of the shape of the wax and where it's formed i mean look how dry that is, is. I, I actually remember um, as we were trying to remove that, that one point there where you could see the jobs and all just kind of flicked off the wax. Um, oh, it's really hard to explain, but it's, um, how do I explain it? It's hard. Basically, the patient would have heard that kind of yeah. flick. It's like it's a click, like, isn't it, as yeah. it comes off the top? So I've gone in with the Rosen inserter because I do, I do love a Rosen inserter. Yeah. I do love a Rosen inserter. You do, you do like the Rosen I, I, do, I, I'm, Mm, I do like the rose insert. I, I find I, I'm the same. I feel the same about the rose insert and the same about I think there are there are really specific yeah. uh, waxes. It works fantastically well. Like you know the when the one you just pulled forwards and you went yeah. into the jobs and all. I might have gone in with a rose insert at that point. Oh over yeah, jobs yeah, and just to, yeah. just to minimize the risk of pushing it back in. Yeah, I mean, it worked brilliantly anyway for you. But it's yeah, it's it's one of those things. I think we all we've all got favorite tools. Yeah, like everyone's got a favorite spatula in the kitchen yeah. or a favorite <laughs> ring on your hob. We've yeah. all got favorite tools, haven't we? That's true. The ones we like to use. We're trying a bit of everything here because this is so dry. <laughs> I'm it is. actually struggling to to to, to get. Like I said, I, as you just mentioned, I don't yeah. want to push this any further back. So I, we're starting to get this to move now. Oh, look how dry it is. You can see me flicking straight off the you end. Yeah, when you here. click your nail. It's oh, that that's sound. A, yeah, that's a good that uh, that's, that's a good that's explanation. Sort of yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a good explanation. I just came to be an that's a really, I'm trying to think of a, really a non-food analogy for that. <laughs> that's the only way I came up with. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know the really dry, crispy <laughs> bit on the underneath the jacket yeah. potato? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the way you snap dry spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna keep ruining foods. <laughs> Uh, anyway, right. tell us where we <laughs> digressed a little bit. So we're, okay. we're getting there. This actually took me a bit longer than what I thought it was going to. I thought that was going to be the easier one of the two, looking yeah. at that, because it had the nice big gap at the top, but that was just welded onto the canal wall, wasn't it? Struggling to pick this up as well. Yeah, it's <laughs> so too, too hard to get into. Yeah, it. like a dry. Oh, and yeah. Just, yeah, really. All those lifts and peels, that's why it was hanging on there. It was just dried out so much. Yeah, a bit irritated, you know, a bit of, bit of, uh, bit of inflammation there. Uh, I just purely think that's just where this, you know, plug has been in there for yeah. a while and there's not much air that's got into that ear. Uh, but we've told the patient to keep an eye on it, just, you know, 
any pain or discomfort or any, you know, even some itching. Yeah. Uh, yeah let the doctor know. Happen. Let the GP they, know. They could even put a little bit of olive oil in as well on a regular basis, yeah. and that might help with that dryness. Uh, so this is my patient. So just the complete opposite end of the spectrum to Taylor. So what we've got here is a very soft skin and wax plug. Now the wax part of it is looking really mushy, the skin is looking really wet. So I think this patient's used a combination of different drops. I think there's probably some sort of peroxide or bicarb drop got in because it's so light in color, it tends to bleach it. And then I think the olive oil's got in uh, just to soften it. And I think we've got this kind of really soft and mushy plug then. So this is starting to get, there's a piece of that skin coming away. There are, so that skin was, I think oh, it's sitting in front of the plug. You can yeah. see a dark plug beyond it. There we go. Yeah, they're 50 50 these ones. I mean, they sometimes they come away really nicely. Yeah. Sometimes they're just a bit of a pain to remove, to be honest. <laughs> Not the widest to be a on entrances either, because that's no. the fine end we've got on there, just to minimize any risk of clarinet. Hey guys, video stopped again. <laughs> It was getting a regular occurrence on us, unfortunately. Um, so you can see. Just, just expect it for the first Yeah, yeah if again. we just sort of randomly <laughs> change position every so often. The thing is, we, don't, we can't remember what we were talking about before the video stops. <laughs> when we go back into it, we can't remember what we were saying before. So, anyway, this is very, very soft skin uh, coming away. Uh, we were just, I think we were talking about the fact we had the fine end on this, we were minimizing any risk of clarinetting. I think yeah, that's so, what that yeah, was. I think was, it was, was yeah. Yeah, that rings a bell. Um, so, as does clarinetting. Oh, uh, yeah, it does. So, yeah, it, 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 yeah, it Shh, really does ring a bell. It's like it's, a well oiled uh... machine, I tell you guys. Uh, so, it's coming away really, really well. You've got this plug. Um, yeah. Uh, is that skin? It looks like skin. It's kind of folding. It's yeah, concertina it up, doesn't it? I was going to say, it looks like it's kind of um, wrapped around. It. It. Yeah, wrapped around. Ooh, standard size on the two. I've brought the big guns on this one. Just because the fine end is great because it, it minimizes any risk of clarinetting, but the suction power on it is not very good. Abysmal. Abysmal <laughs> pants. <laughs> it's not very good. Yes. Uh, so we, we, you tend to switch out when you've got this kind of plug. The fine end's just not going to pull that. Look at that going. Oh, I thought I was going to get a skin ribbon. Nearly, nearly. So it's just going to work this piece out. Everyone's going to be disappointed. Oh. I know, I'm so sorry, guys. I, think, <laughs> not that I thought I was going to get a skin ribbon. I did the procedure, I can't even remember it. Uh, so it's kind of weird. Although I do have, I know I've got a skin ribbon tomorrow. No, not tomorrow, for, uh, Wednesday. Oh. I know I'll go on on that one. Stay tuned for Wednesday's video, guys. Ooh, stay tuned. Looking forward uh, to that. There might even be a cheeky little mastoid clearance in there as well. Ooh. I know you've been asking for those ones. I know. We don't see them go. very often. Everyone's like, ooh. Yeah, everyone's yeah. saying, oh, do, do a mastoid one. I, yeah. you know, we can only upload what we get in clinic unfortunately yeah. we did is... send taylor out onto the street with a big board <laughs> that said if you have a master did these clear please come in before episode it didn't work though guys we did try we did try uh so this is the other ear, uh, ear canal here looks more like wax this one to yeah. me it doesn't look so much like skin uh straight in with the the standard size tube i think this is i uh, I, I do want to address uh, the, the the comments about my accent as well, guys. I've uh, <laughs> yes. I've, had a, I've seen a, quite a few comments saying I sound part Irish. Uh, I can confirm that I am one hundred percent Welsh. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, but we obviously live in different uh, different like regions, yeah. so I've got a much uh, in a quite, quite common in a way more common broader. sort of br stronger, broader, stronger, broader, stronger, stronger accent. Yes. So we, yeah, it's just because we're from different areas. Yeah. That's all. Yeah, there's lots of different. A bit like in the US, we have lots of different accents in different states. Here in uh, the UK, we have different accents in different parts of the UK. So in Wales, there's lots and lots of different accents. So we're we're both from South Wales, uh, but different parts of South Wales. That's yeah. why we sound uh, sound slightly different. Oh. I do try to put a posh accent on though. <laughs> do it for, for YouTube videos. <laughs> for the videos, for the videos. Oh, yes, very posh. Uh, so, yeah, you can see it's covered away. It's got a little bit stuck now, though. It's not really budging that Ooh. well. Ooh, I broke away. Yeah, I thought that was going to be the whole thing. Then. That's the problem with these with these smaller canal entrances. Nine times out of ten, the ear canal is slightly wider than the entrance. And then you get these hard pieces that just get jammed yeah. and they just will not come out. I did actually um, had a I had a patient sorry come into my clinic uh, I think it was it was a couple of days ago, um, but I couldn't do anything at all. The ear canal was so swollen um, I couldn't get the endoscope into the ear. Um, yeah, <laughs> very very. It's a bit disappointing for the patient actually in a way because they think yeah. oh, they're expecting a quick fix, you know, uh, straight in straight out, you know. 
Uh, but no, it's uh, it's always it's really difficult, and, you know, especially if somebody's got something like a type that's external or maybe a mild infection, something yeah. like that in the ear canal is pretty much closed. I mean, if you can get the endoscope in, we'll take a little bit out. But what I normally say is to the patient, well, you know, get your treatment, get your antibiotics, because we're not allowed to prescribe here in the UK. I, I don't know what their setup is in the US and other places, uh, parts of the world, but in the UK, audiologists can't prescribe, so we have to send them back to their general practitioner. They have to get the antibiotics then come back to us so a lot of the time i'll clear what i can get to but because of the swelling you just can't get to a lot of it and then we've got to uh, wait for that to clear this is not coming away easily no. um and i know there are literally thousands of people screaming at the screen asking me why i didn't put a rosen insert or a jobson horn in here because the plug is mobile and it's just inside the ear canal and i've taken this long to get it wedged there yeah. on purpose if i put a jobson horn in there or a rosen insert it's just going to push it further back and i've got to start that whole process again it further down because the entrance of the canal is too small you can't get the angle to get over the top cleanly and get this plug out so i'm having to wedge it in the canal entrance yeah. There you go. Oh, there we go. Bit of a wiggle, and out that comes. There you and go. You would have risked the jobs and horn kind of spreading and like just yeah. kind of squashing that oh, wax against the yeah. ear canal, even if you couldn't get over it. So. Which, which would have been a, another job in itself. Yeah. It's so, so tough to do. Uh, three quarters of an inch. I'm going to go for that one. Oh, uh, uh, oh, you put me on the spot. Uh, just under two centimeters. <laughs> <laughs> You're mixing it up today. <laughs> so let me just stick to inches because I know I'm amazing at inches. I get it right every single time. Well, yeah. I'll just do that. Uh, so, third patient. Oh, ooh. Oh. Oh, there we go. Yeah, if I forgot it, this one was coming actually, yeah, guys. I mean, this is uh, this is a patient that I saw in clinic uh, again last week. Um, we've actually got a bilateral uh, hearing aid dome remover from this particular patient. So this this patient came in, um, has seen several people in the past, has been told by some people as well that it's just wax, which I would find quite really. Yeah, not so much this side. They they were told there was a foreign body in this oh, side. Right, but okay. you'll, you'll see what I mean in a second on the other side. Um, the other side does just look like wax to start with. Um, but we've got the crocodile forceps here, getting a little grip on any little edge that we can find there. Now, I've taken this one out quite slowly. With the other ear, um, I did actually stimulate um, the Arnold's reflex with, uh, with this particular patient, so I'm not even lying. Uh, this patient, a particular patient, sorry, had a coffin fit for about 30 seconds after I removed it. Oh, yeah. This is where we were saying it just looks like a wall of wax to start with. In fairness, uh, yeah. Yeah, does, so, I, I, you know, to be fair, yeah, it does look like wax to start with. So I do try and clear up some of that wax first, just so I can get a better view, so I can use the crocodile forceps to grab onto a yeah. uh, an edge. These have been in there for a long time. Um, this particular patient has had oh, issues at the area. You can see the, the softer, flatter yeah. edge there now. Th these, believe it or not, these domes, uh, the particular company that, these hearing aids are not from us, uh, but the company that this patient uses, these domes are supposed to be white. They, they're kind of like a frost, almost like an eardrum. They, 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 wow. It's just supposed to be white in colour, but you can see how how much these have actually changed in colour. So is he, did, did the patient have any idea how long they had these in their ears for? Uh, no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this, there you go, you can see how quick that was in. The patient actually kind of um, sort of started moved away cough, from it, they? started coughing straight away. Um, <laughs> I, I was sort of just sat there kind of like, are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> so wow. the, the coughing was literally going on for about 30 seconds. So, so the, 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 just to give some people just some context, the, the hearing aid dome we're talking about there, imagine like the end of an Air, AirPod Pro yeah. or something like that, you know, those little sort of rubber, the ones you put in the, the headphones you put in your ears have those little rubber tips. It looks a bit like those, uh, but they're not designed to come off. They're designed to stay on the hearing aid, um, yeah. you know, really quite securely, aren't they? So yeah. it's unusual for, especially unusual like a two. Very rare for us to see too, yeah, and yeah. Um, especially this like kind of age as well. Yeah, we don't yeah. really see them this old yeah. in, the, in the ears. Uh, but going back to the Arnold's reflex again, that's that's purely just a stimulation of the ear canal, which can cause like an involuntary um, reaction in the throat, yeah. and people will start coughing. If you've ever sort of breathed in and caught something just just hits the back of your throat. And you, you can't help but cough. That's the kind of sensation you get, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's not a nice one. Well, guys, oh, you can start this one, go on. Yeah, so, uh, so thank, thank you very much for watching our uh, videos today, guys. And don't forget, we forgot to mention if you oh, are having issues okay, with the time. ears, I know every time, um, don't forget our link to our website is on the, uh, in our bio. So just you know, click onto the link, check our clinics. Um, we are happy to see you in any of our clinics, really. Yeah. 
And uh, don't forget to uh, take care of yourselves. Take care of years. I done that wrong, haven't I? That was fine. Oh. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're, rolling you, we're, we're rolling with it now. We're rolling with it. We'll see you again on the next video, guys. Thank you. And, and take care of yourselves. And take care of yourselves as well. Yeah, don't forget. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>